Hey guys, Minecraft TV HD here, and today I thought I'd bring you uh, another introduction to a new series, which I'll be starting. And I know I've had a lot going on at the moment with new series and stuff like that, but I've decided that I'm going to be bringing out an update video soon, telling you which ones I've stopped, which ones will continue on for a long time, or which ones I might only do a couple more episodes of. But I picked a new series that I thought you guys would enjoy, and a majority of my subscribers I know will. So let's get started. As you can see by on the screen, it's a uh, Terraria how to make your own mod. So let's get going. First of all, I want I want you guys to navigate to the link in the description, which is Terraria Online. It's just a T config mod where you can make your own mods. It's very simple and easy, but I'll be navigating you through it. So first of all, you need to go to the downloads part, and it says the latest installer. Now we're going to need that. So click on it. Let's go back and wait for that to load. And we also need to try a game launcher, which we've already got, because I've got Steam, as you can see. Now, also, we don't need default files, but it's always good to go get them. And now, another thing which I believe... Oh, no, you do need the try a game launcher. Sorry about that. It's a extra add-on kind of thing, you could say, for mods. So let's get downloading that. The config installer. And get this game launcher. Download. Lots of people use Adderfly now. I wonder why. Don't see why they don't use Mega Upload. Considering all the people who use Mega Upload. Alright, so we've got everything started to download now, and everything's finished downloading. So I'm going to start up by running the Trey Game Launcher. So this job, and you just want to extract this on the desktop to a safe place. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to extract it to my own uh, hard drive, but you could say in my computer. This will take a while to load. I'm going to say that now. Uh, where do I go now? I always forget that bit. Right, so let's make a new folder in here and call it Trey Modding Videos. Big folder. So let's extract that in there. And now let's just grab this. Oh yeah, sorry. You have to grab this. My apologies. And you have to navigate to my computer. Local disk. Program files or program files times 86. Go to Steam. Steam apps. Common. Terraria. And this is where you want to have them. Where you want to have them all dragged, sorry. And just copy here. And now, uh, since that's done, let's minimize it. Open up the tconfig install and run it. And now, what I'd say is you have the. Sorry. Apologies, you've got to run the game launcher. And it will generate some extra files which is needed. Now, considering I'm on a slow computer, I think I might pause the video. Oh, no, I won't. I'll just show you it through here. So, what will happen is this will open. And now it's going to say it's all installation complete and stuff like that. Enjoy and please exit and start Terraria through Steam. So exit. And now it's got Terraria original backup, which this couldn't find. So let's run it. And now it's installing as it should. Would you like a desktop shot cut to the mod pack builder? I would. Thank you. And I wouldn't like one to that. It's done. So let's enter. 
And now simply guys, your tray folder's got a whole bunch of stuff, but it's done. You've got tconfig installed. So just to prove it, I'm going to run tray here. It may take a while, considering I'm recording with Camtasia, as you can see. Finally, it's starting to load. And what you want to do when you want to test out your mods is you try to click on tconfig and launch it through there. But if you try to play normal trades, click Terraria and launch. So let's launch tconfig. There we go guys, I paused the video there because I knew it was going to come up in full screen and it did. But what you want to do is you want to go into tconfig settings. And oh, yes, these are all my mods. Uh, just to show an example, I'm going to click spoon on and reload mods. Apologies there, it did break a bit. Uh, but basically, it said that it was an outdated mod, which it is. All of them are outdated mod packs. So, I'll show you hopefully how to delete them. My apologies for all this other stuff popping up. But I believe we need to. To be honest, guys, I'll show you all that in the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video when we will start to make our own basic item. It will basically do nothing, it will just be named and it will have a cool icon. So I'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed this video, as I'm sure most of you did. And please be sure to rate, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching, like I've said many times. Bye.